Thank you for joining me. Today continue the NICO uh, top interview question. Today focus on string. Now we come to validate uh, anagram. So you will be given two string S and T. Write a function to determine if T is an anagram of S. So if you see S is anagram, so T is an A G. So this one it is true. It is a uh, sum. We uh, arrange this to a real world. But in here, RAT, here is CAR, so this is false. Look at this. Actually, also quite important for you to write the code. You may assume that string contain only no case after, but later. So, like in this case, I did in first one. So, we are also use this strategy. So, the only after, but later. So, I'm going to put in only. 26 only I look like the integer array 26 and the in each integer like zero map into a one map into b so up to 26 and what if the input contain unique character how would you adopt your solution to such case so every time when you thinking uh best case to uh Think about normally um hash map is a good way, but in this current situation, if you already know they only have a 26 characters, so instead of just use hash map, you could map each to a index array, it will be fast. We have a test in the first unique character in string. And so just write the code. So I definitely compare if uh, these two names is uh, different. Not the equal to t dot the lines. They are not equal. Then you know they are just return false directly. You don't need to compare. Only need to compare when this uh, they are the same lines. So I'm going to allocate. Uh, a map equal to new int. They only have a 26. So loop one and either and just update each index. If they have a, a, a so it will be zero index up to one. So I'm going to loop it. Going to move this one. This is the character on string dot character at i. So if you minus the character i, you will get the index. If this time is a, so this map zero will be this a the index. If you get this one. Then you just plus plus. So if it's the first time coming, second time just uh, and be one. First time one, second time will be two. So you loop the whole string of S. Then you start the loop from the string of I. So this time you loop, you're going to minus this map. So if you find it exactly the same, you're going to minus it. And at the same time, you are also check this, this character in this mapped value. So at the same time, maybe I should just put the key on top. 
So you first update delete and minus minus because you from you just uh, if you get the once you minus minus you also see this value as still equal to zero or negative zero it means uh, never existing here then you're going to minus so either going from zero be negative one so in this case you just return false otherwise you finish the loop finish the loop then you just return true have any syntax issue. It's finished, it's correct. So let's just test it. Yeah, it accepted. So just look at the code. So first time you looping every string S, you map each one into if it's ABC, you don't update ABC to one, two, one, one, one. Um, but if the here doesn't have ABC, you see it have a CDE, then you go into minus this one, then you change another index. If you change the, the minus one, you also see this character is existing the previous one. If it is suppose it's after the minus minus is supposed to zero, but if it is less than zero, it going to return false. So that is the solution. Just see the report. It is fast. It is three milliseconds. It, it means you are standard in here. So you actually seventy five a one point of Java. You are here. So you actually quite faster than everybody else. You see. And thank you for watching.